Calumet Farm 16. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody, Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to The Bourbon Wrench. Today, we are going to be talking about a bottle that is quite possibly going to be on my Whiskey of the Year list. Actually, it is going to be on my Whiskey of the Year list, so sorry, we're just, get that out of the way. It's a really good bottle. Today, we are going to be tasting the Calumet Farm 16, breaking it down, giving my tasting notes on it, help you decide whether or not you should or shouldn't buy this. Because let's face it, regardless of all of the positive hype that's behind this bottle, and trust me, there's a lot of positive hype going around, I want to give you the tools. I want to give you the keys to the Lamborghini to make your own decision whether or not to spend $150 on a bottle of whiskey. Let's face it, the only opinion that matters is your own. And the only palette that matters is your own too, so just gonna share my thoughts, help you make a good decision. So Calumet Farm 16, it's 16 years old. 106 proof, small batch size of 19 barrels. Let's get into it, super excited. Uh, I've opened this a while ago, I've really wanted to give it a fair judgment, let some air get to it. Um, but I'm just gonna tell you, right up front, from the very get-go, it's pretty good. Also, another very important feature about this bottle, non-chill filtered. You wanna know why? To add depth of character. I like that, I like them. They're winning already. All right, on the nose. This smells like aged heaven. This is toasted cinnamon. This is toasted oak. This is vanilla. This is amazing. Cherry notes. I mean, it's just everything. It's everything you want in an aged bourbon. Spicy, oaky, fruity, delicious. It really does smell very dense. Uh, I feel like a lot of times, a lot of aged products, they just seem flat in, in all aspects. It's just kind of lackluster. And this is very dense. This is very, you know, it's jumping out of the glass at me. I think the proof point, I think the non-chill filtering, you know, it's good. Do more of that. All right, let's taste it. Let's see if it delivers. Yep, it delivers. I love how cohesive this bottle is. I think the oak, the, the, the barrel influence, all that barrel char, the oakiness that you get, it's balanced with the fruity notes, um, the vanillas, all that. It's cohesive. I will say, to me, this is it's oaky, but it's the right amount of oaky. I know some people don't like that. Any amount of oak, I think, they, they just don't like oak notes, and this has it. It's 16, of course it's gonna have it. I just think it blends well with all of the other notes. Also, to add, I don't think it's too oaky. I think a lot of people like oak, um, but when you start, you know, when people say it's too oaky, it's like wet wood. You're eating a log. This is not like that. We don't want wet wood in our mouths. It coats the mouth, it's very viscous. Again, that non-chill filtering, I think is a must on like every bourbon, period. But that's something I don't think we're used to either. A lot of these ultra aged products, they chill filter them and they proof them down to 90. I think the proof point being at 106, that you're getting enough, you're getting extra spicy, you're getting more mouth sensation, the non-chill filtering, you're getting that creaminess, you're getting extra flavors that I think would have been stripped down. Uh, oak is a prevalent tasting note and I think it's overpowering. So if you chill filter it and strip other flavors away, you're left with soggy wood. So kudos, it's delicious, this is delicious. It's amazing, I love this bottle. 
and I keep harping on the fact that it's non-chill filtered and it's 106 proof. I think a lot of these bottles and why I've been kind of hesitant to buy uh, some of the other products that are out there, these random 15 year old bottles that just show up out of nowhere, they're just, they're so lackluster. They're not delivering. There's no depth. It's just all wood or just all barrel. It's just, it's too much in one direction. I think with this release, uh, they did good. Um, compared to maybe the 15 year Calumet, little more cherry notes on the 15, where this might have a little more oaky characteristic to it. But again, not, not off-putting. It's not too bitter, or really bitter at all. It's nice and balanced. Thoroughly enjoy it. Now, this is the part of the video I can rave about this bottle and how much I love it, but what it comes down to is two things. Whether or not you should or should not buy this. My problem, and it's not really a problem, this is just my advice to you, is this bottle is $150 in pretty much every video you'll see of this is people loving it, okay? They are really loving it. Now, my answers to you would be, one, if you are used to buying $150 bottles, if you've bought the 14 and 15, if you're that kind of person, this is a must buy. You gotta try it, you gotta have it, it's great. And the good thing, unlike a lot of other aged products, is that this one's relatively easy. It's easier to get. They have a lot more of these out there than your standard limited edition bull crap. It's easier to get. Okay, so my second point, all of that positivity out of the way. Now, I don't want you to watch this and be like, well, he freaking loves it. I'm going to the store and I'm buying it right now. If you aren't someone who spends $150, if you're like, man, I don't want to spend more than 60, I am not telling you to go buy this, especially if you, you know, if you find yourself saying, I'm just looking for the next best bourbon, I've, I've, I've tried Buffalo Trace, I, I have a couple bottles, don't make the leap into that side of the pool, okay? You don't need to dive in head first. I always bring this up in my videos uh, because I know people are looking for really good bourbons like what's the best what's the best thing we can get and the thing with this bottle is yeah it's going to be on my top whiskey list and, and people are will find videos of this bottle because of that I don't want you to blindly just throw your money into things um, if you are developing your palate and you know you've tried two distilleries you might not want to just go head first into buying a $150 Calumet and expecting a life-changing revelation, okay? I have to preface that because I know when I rave and love something, someone out there is just gonna blindly follow me, okay? Don't do that. I'm just a dude. You need to think about it, okay? But if you are in that boat, and I imagine if you aren't in that boat yet, your journey will take you to that point and then you can start dropping 150 bones on a bottle of whiskey. So, final thoughts? Yeah, it's delicious. I love it, personally. Fits my palate great. Right amount of oak, it's spicy. It's, it's, it's everything a lot of older bourbons lack. All right, there we have it, guys. My review, my thoughts on the Calumet 16. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, Quit lurking. If you want to stay up to date with more reviews like this, live streams, turn the bell notification on. If you want to support me more, you want to get cool merch like these, you know, black Glen Cairns with the Bourbon Wrench logo, link in the description. Check out the Patreon page, exclusive items over there. And until next time, guys, I'm Travolson. I will see you in the next video.